Welcome back everyone. Today's video will be a coding session of a to-do list app using Next.js and Chakra UI. As you guys know from my previous videos on React, I am a big fan of Chakra UI as I feel that it is one of the most developer friendly UI libraries for React and its counterparts. So without any further ado, let's start coding. Before we start coding, let's look at what we require. Make sure you have the latest version of Node.js installed on your system along with the code editor of your choice. In this video, I'll be using VS Code as my code editor. Now let's start using the web framework initializer I have built to set up the project. Type in your project name and choose the required libraries. In this case, I will choose only Chakra UI as this is the only library we will be using in this video. For those of you who don't know what this is, this is a web framework initializer which I have created using Python that sets up a whole Next.js or React.js project from scratch with all the required libraries I selected from the above list. You can find this program on my github. I will also put a link to it down in the description. Now that we have the project folder set up, let's open it up in Visual Studio Code. We can see that we have a couple of boilerplate files and code already present in the project. Let's remove those and start with a fresh page. First thing we need to do while using Chakra UI is that we need to insert the Chakra provider component in the app.js file which is basically the pre-existing layout of every web page before it loads. After that, in the index.js file which is the main page of the web page, let's import some basic Chakra UI components. Import use state from react as we will be needing that to store the list as well as our new item that will be added to the list. Follow it up by creating constants for the same. Next, let's start by creating a flex component. Justify and align to center. Let's add some width, height and change the flex direction to column. Create an unordered list component. And let's map the constant tasks which contains all the items in your to-do list. We will be returning a bunch of list item components, each of which will contain one task from your to-do list. We will also be setting a key parameter to the list item component as it is necessary for each parent component in the return section of the map function to have a key parameter. Along with each task, we will also be returning a button component in order to remove the respective task from the list. Let's give it a left margin of 10 and on click, we will execute the remove item function. At this point, if we start the server using npm run dev, we will be looking at something like this. Coming back to the code, we will create input component for us to add any new tasks to the list. We will set the value to the const item which we created earlier. As we type in a new task, we will use the set item function to set item to the new task which we type in. Finally, let's create a button to add a task to the list. On click of this button, we will be executing the add item function. As our last steps, we need to implement the add item and remove item functions. Let's start with the remove item function. Here, we just need to reset the tasks with an array, excluding the task we need to remove from the list. We do that by using the filter function for arrays, where we check if any element in the array matches the given element in the params. In our case, we will be passing in the task name variable, which is nothing but the item we would like to remove. Coming to the add item function, we will be first checking if the item we are adding is the empty one as well as if item is already present in the list. If those two conditions are satisfied, then we create a temporary variable and assign it to the existing list of tasks, modify it and reassign it to the tasks variable. We also need to set the item constant to an empty string at the end so that the input field will be cleared. And that's it. We have now created a fully functioning to-do list. For this video, I will not be going into much detail about the front-end design as our goal was to create a fully functioning to-do list. If you want to see more content on CSS fundamentals or design concepts, let me know in the comments down below. Also, the Cynifer IO Instagram page is live. Please do follow our page and support us. Thank you for watching this video. We will see you in the next one.